The command word for this question is describe. And we're asked to give examples of inclusive design. And two of them will get us four marks. So we need to write enough to, to give enough of a description, but we're not asked to give explanations. Um, so let's get going. A classic example is a phone with large buttons, one mark for that, which makes it easier for the elderly or those with visual impairments to read the numbers and press the buttons. So that's where we're gonna get our two marks, a description of the product and a description of how it makes it easier for different people. Another example would be a garden tool with an ergonomic handle. Now that in itself doesn't really describe fully what the handle looks like. So it might be worth just adding, that would be something like a large diameter grip or a curved handle to minimize bending the wrist. And this makes it easier for those with arthritis to use. So that's how we get the two marks. Now, those are just two examples and we don't need to give any more, um, but I am gonna provide one because it's, um, it's useful to have as much information as possible before the exam. And this could be a door handle, which can be reached from various heights. You'll often see them there, they're quite long or tall door handles. And this makes it easier for those in wheelchairs to use as well as children and adults. And so th those are three examples. We only need to provide two. And you'll notice that each example is described in detail. And then it's um, described how it's used and how it makes it easier for various people to use. 